This is part 38 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to cancel route change in an Angular application. Let's understand this with an example. We will continue to work with the same example that we have been working with in our previous videos in this series. Let's say at the moment we are on this list of students page. At this point, if I click on any other navigation links like home or courses, we want to present the user with this confirmation message. Are you sure you want to navigate away from this page? At this point, if I click OK, we want to allow the route change and the user will be navigated to the new route. On the other hand, if I click cancel, then we want to cancel the route change and the user will stay on the same page. This technique is extremely useful when you have a long form that you're filling. Let's say, for example, you have filled 90% of that form. And at that point, you have accidentally clicked on one of the navigation links. And at that point, if that website allows you to navigate to that new route without any sort of confirmation like this, you will lose your unsaved data. On the other hand, if the website displays a confirmation message like this, you can click the cancel button and get to stay on the same page and retain your unsaved data. So let's see how to implement canceling route change in an Angular application. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we are within our students controller function. Into this controller function, I'm going to inject dollar scope object. And on this dollar scope object, I am going to call dollar on function. Now, when route navigation occurs in an Angular application, there is an event that is triggered. And that event is dollar route change start event. So we want to handle that event using this on function. So the event is dollar route change start. So that's the event that we want to handle. So when that event is triggered, this is the function that is called. And this event handler function is going to have three parameters. The first parameter is the event object itself. The second parameter is the next parameter, which has information about the next route that we are navigating to. And the third parameter is current, which has information about the current route that we are on. Now, when this event is triggered, what do we want to do? The first thing that we want to do is display a confirmation message like this. To display a confirmation message, we are going to use JavaScript confirm function. So what's the message that we want to display to the user? The message is, are you sure you want to navigate away from this page? So that's the message that we want to display to the user. Now, this confirm function is displaying, uh, is going to display a confirmation message box like this with OK and cancel button. When we click OK, the function will return true. When we click cancel, the function returns false. And that's when we want to cancel route change. So when we click cancel, it, this function is going to return false. I'm going to apply not operator. So not of false is true. That's when we want to cancel route change. Now, how are we going to cancel route change? To cancel the route change, we are going to use this event object. So this event object contains information about the event itself, which is the route change event. And that's what we want to cancel. To cancel the event, we are going to call prevent default function on the event object. So that is all the code that is required to cancel a route change in an Angular application. So let's save our changes, reload our page, and at this point, look at this. When I click on Home link, we get this message. Are you sure you want to navigate away from this page? Now, when I click OK, you know, route change is allowed, and we get to navigate to the new route. On the other hand, if I click Cancel, look at this. Route change is canceled, and we get to stay on the same page. Now, if you look at the confirmation message, it's the same confirmation message for all the navigation links. Right Now, what I want to do is display the confirmation message like this. Now, let's say at the moment we are on students page. And when I click on this home link, we want to display a message saying, are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to slash home? We also want to display the information about the new route that we are navigating to in this confirmation message. So similarly, if I am navigating to courses, then it should say, are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to slash courses?
and we can very easily achieve that by using this next parameter of the event handler function so on the next parameter we can use dollar dollar route dot original path properties now at this point the question that obviously comes to your mind is how will I know we have these properties on this next parameter well the easiest way is to log this next parameter and then inspect all the properties uh, it has got we'll discuss how to do that in our next video for now let's use this property to get the information about the new route that we are navigating to so we have our next parameter here so the message that we want to display is are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to and to that we are going to append dollar dollar route dot original path alright so let's save these changes and let's reload our page and look at this when I click on home are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to slash home let's cancel that and when I click courses are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to slash courses we also get the information about the new route that we are navigating to alright now we can also achieve exactly the same thing by using another event and that is location change start event when a route change occurs in an angular application there are two events that are triggered route change start which we are handling at the moment and another event is location change start you can handle either of these events to achieve exactly the same thing the only difference is that the next and current parameters of this event handler function has got the complete next and current URLs that we are navigating to okay so as a result the confirmation message that we see will be slightly different let's actually implement this and see that in action so instead of route change start I'm going to use location change start and this next and current parameters here are going to have complete next and current URLs so we don't have to dig into properties like this so we can simply delete that and save our changes let's reload this page and at this point look at this when I click on home link look at this it's asking are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost we have the port number slash home so we have the complete URL there similarly when I click on courses and um, are you sure you want to navigate away from this page to slash courses in our next video we'll discuss the different events that are triggered when a route change occurs in an angular application thank you for listening and have a great day